Hey there, this is Kamal and in this video, we're going to see how we can deploy a website onto Netlify for free. So let's get this started. Okay, so before going further, let me clarify a few things. So we can only host static websites on Netlify. So by static, I mean the websites which contain the front end part like HTML, CSS and JavaScript and do not have any database linking. So you can use frameworks like React or Angular or Vue.js since they are front end frameworks but you can't use any of the backend frameworks like Node or Express or Laravel or any of that. So if you have any backend linking to it, then you have to host your websites on an actual server like a cloud server or a shared web hosting. So with that out of the way, let's get this started. So here's the website and the first thing that you have to do is that you have to create an account. So let's click on sign up and you can use any of the options available here and I'm gonna go with GitHub. Then you have to give authorization to your GitHub account. So I'm gonna click on authorize Netlify so this is the dashboard and from here you can upload your files. So there's actually three ways of uploading your files to Netlify. The first way is to directly drag and drop the project onto this. The second way is to use git and the third way is to use a command line. So let's go with the second and the third option. So I'm going to go with git for now. Click on that and you can choose the location of where your project is being hosted. So mine is hosted on GitHub. So I'm going to click on that. Then you have to give access to it. Click on authorize. Then you can select if you want to import all the repositories or if you want, you can select only specific repositories. I'll leave it as it is and I'll click on install. And once you have been authorized, all the repositories will be listed down below and you can choose any of the repository that you want to use. So let's go with the portfolio. So I'll click on that. Then you can select the branch that you want to use to deploy your project. And since I already have one branch, which is master, I'll leave it as it is. And one more thing that you have to keep in mind is that if your project is present inside a subdirectory inside your Git repository, then what you have to do is that you have to add that particular folder name inside the published directory. But since all my files are present inside the root directory, I'll just leave this as empty and I'll click on deploy site. And once the deployment has been done, it's going to provide you with a unique URL. So you can click on this URL and that's going to open your project. And this is the project that I had created. This is a dummy project. So what you can do now is that if you want, you can set up a custom domain to it as well. And if you want, you can even secure your website using the SSL certificate. So you can do that. And it's going to use let's encrypt to actually generate the SSL certificate. So if you scroll even further, you can see all your production deployments. All of them will be listed here and you can also see your PR or branch. So you can do that as well. And if you want, you can go to site settings and update any of the information that you want to see here. And one more main thing about Netlify is that you can even use forms. So if you have a contact form or any message me form inside your website, then you can directly use the Netlify forms so that whenever any user types in a query or types in something, all of that information will be directed to the Netlify forms and you'll be able to see that inside your dashboard directly. And apart from that, you also have access to all your other settings here. So that's how you use Git to deploy your files. So let's say you don't want to create a repository on Git and deploy the files from there. Instead, you can directly deploy your files using the command line as well. So let's now see how we can do that. So open your command prompt and go to the place where your project is being kept. So let's go to mine. So if I list out my files right now, as you can see, we have three main files. One is the index.php file. The second one is the logic and the third one is the style. So all the files are present inside my root directory that is Corona Tracker project. So now what you have to do is that you have to type in the command npm space install netlify hyphen cli space hyphen g. So this is the command that's gonna install netlify on your system. And for that, you have to make sure that you already have npm installed on your system and if you're on a linux system then you have to use sudo as well so you can enter that and click on enter and that's going to ask for your password and once you're done with installation you have to type in netlify space deploy once you type that in it's going to open the browser and it's going to ask for authorization so you click on authorize and once you're done with that, you can close this off, go to the terminal once again, and it's going to ask for some details here. So what would you like to do? Link this directory to an existing site or create and configure a new site. So let's go with the second option, use the arrows and click on enter. 
then it's gonna ask the team I'm going to select Kamal Tejas team and click on enter then it's gonna ask the site name you can leave it empty if you want then it's going to ask for the publish directory and as I mentioned earlier if you have all your files present inside a subdirectory like let's say my files are currently present inside corona tracker right so if I have my files inside another folder inside corona tracker then I have to mention that particular folder name but since I have all my files inside this particular folder called as corona tracker I can just leave it empty and click on enter and once the deployment has been done it's going to show you that everything looks good on the draft URL so you can deploy it on your main side URL using this command so let's copy that command and enter it here click on enter and once the deployment has been done it's going to generate a URL and as you can see here this is the same URL that you're going to get inside your dashboard so if you go to the dashboard once again and refresh the page as you can see here we have the new project so let's open that and as you can see here we have the new URL but if I try to open this it's going to show that the page is not found and that is because I tried to deploy a PHP based website and as I mentioned at the start of this video PHP based websites will not work on Netlify and that's the reason why this is not working right now but the deployment was successful and if you had used a front-end framework like react or Vue to build your website then you can easily deploy that onto Netlify as well. So that's how you host a website on Netlify for free. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like what I've seen till now. If you did, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.